Hey guys, what's up? It's Juan, and today I'm going to be explaining to you why you should root and install the exposed installer on your Android device. So let's get started. So before you do anything, of course, you're going to need to verify that you have root. The best way to do this is that you download Root Checker from the Play Store and then check if you have root through there. Next, I'm going to need you to go down to the link in the description below and download the exposed installer APK. After you've done that, navigate to your app drawer and look for the exposed installer. Now, after that, go to the framework, and then it'll give you a warning saying that your device might not boot, but just ignore it. And then click Install Update, and then reboot the device. It'll ask you if you're sure, just click OK and grant it super user permission. After that, if you want to check what modules you have installed, click on Modules, but if you want to download new modules, click on Download. Now, on download, you can download modules for a bunch of things. There are modules for a lot of things, but right now, I'm going to show you my top five exposed modules right now. So, again, let's get started. The first module is Exposed Preference Injector. Now, this adds all your exposed modules into a subsetting in the Settings app, which is really convenient because you might want to hide your modules because they're cluttering up your app drawer if you're using a custom launcher, but you don't have any other way to get to them, so if you download Exposed Preference Injector, you can just access them from the settings where they're organized neatly in a sub-settings titled Exposed Modules. And as you can see there, I just clicked on a module and it just worked flawlessly. The next module is called Swipe Back, and as you can see here, it lets you choose what apps you want Swipe Back to work with. But before we get into that, let's actually show you what it does. So Swipe Back lets you navigate into an app. Let's say I want to navigate into Evernote, and I'll click on an article here that I wrote a script. And then let's say I want to go back, but I don't want to reach up to the top to that Evernote back button or to the bottom. I can just swipe back like on iOS 7 you can with a lot of apps. And it's really convenient. Again, let me just show you again using Google+. Plus. But let's say Google+, Plus has a slide out, me slide out menu, which it does. What do you do there? Uh, to fix that, you go to the swipe back app, go to Google+, Plus, and then you can turn off swipe back for Google+. Plus. So now when you go to Google+, Plus, the um, slide out menu will work perfectly, as you can see here. Now the next module I have for you guys is the X-Halo floating window. And this is pretty much a pop-up window like Samsung's multi-window um, software for the Galaxy devices, where it lets you do two things at once. But here are the settings, and let's say I want to get to the settings, do a multi winner for the settings, you'll see that you have a little icon in your notification bar and then if you go down and you'll see a bunch of other icons and if you click settings there you go I just minimized it and you can maximize and minimize it as you can see there I just minimized it and you can even resize it like Samsung's multi window and move it around minimize it again or maximize it if you want and by clicking the X button you can get rid of it so again it's really useful if you like multitasking or just doing two things at once. Now the second to last exposed module I have for you guys is the Zooey Mode Exposed Module and it lets you add a bunch of customization to your system UI and animations and you know lock screen mode and stuff. So as you can see there I have the battery bar mode where it tells me how much battery I have in, in a little bar above the notification shade and for that you have to go into the battery mod battery bar mod section but you that's a whole different you know video but you can do a bunch of things like change your system animation and then the last module I have for you guys is gravity box now gravity box is an all-in-one ROM toolbox if you don't want to flash a custom ROM it even lets you add Pi controls and you know you can set it to whenever you want the trigger size or you know the position you want it in and even the navigation key size for the uh, Pi controls and you can even disable the regular navigation keys if you still want those there for aesthetic looks but you want to use Pi controls so again Pi controls is really useful in gravity box but I and I would really recommend using it and I'm highlighting Pi controls because that's a feature that a lot of custom ROMs don't have but gravity box does so that's pretty crazy guys so I really recommend checking out the Pi control feature of gravity box but I'm getting kinda of sidetracked so but gravity box even lets you change like phone tweaks for phone calls and a lot of other things so I just recommend you check that one exposed module out because 
it's pretty much a custom ROM. That's not a custom ROM. I know that sounds weird, but just go check it out. Again, guys, if you liked this video or found it helpful, please give it a like. I would really appreciate it if you did. And again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below because I'll answer them there. And if you want to see more content like this, please, please subscribe. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.